going on guys? This is DRock over at one half two point oh slash Invicta with my very first so you guys saw the uh the double live attack by Oki and Ryan uh a couple days ago. I'm gonna do uh take my crack at it and do my first live attack. Um so I've been in a little bit of a slump lately, the past uh, couple of attacks. Uh I've actually felt pretty bad. Um but you know it, it's kinda hard sometimes uh attacking without a hero so uh, same story this time uh, I'm gonna be attacking with a goho a shattered goho with witches um, without my king um, so my queen is 21 so she's gonna have a pretty good um, advantage over the level 7 and low defenses on this base but the uh, this base is pretty tricky um, looking at it this is the first time it's being attacked um, and since I'm bringing a hog attack I'm going to um, I'm gonna talk about where I think the double bombs are where it makes most sense so I think that there's one set here and then the other set is down here um, reason being is that you know there are other possible spots in here like uh, like pretty much this entire area um, this could be one, I guess, but those areas really uh, don't call for it. Um, the pathing on these two are the most obvious. So how, when I was first looking at this base, I was like, okay, I could do queen walk, but then you know I was gonna come from this angle, like around here, and then break in like here, but there. I don't. I didn't really see the benefit. It wasn't triggering any, or it wasn't uh, negating any double giant bomb spots. So I decided against it and just went with the standard shattered uh, with witches approach. Um, hope it works out. But so what? What I'm going to do is first before I do anything, I'm going to break the funnel with two minions down here uh, up on the top left. I'm going to break in with eventually with my jump spell uh, around that jump spell should connect me all the way there and with the witches and golems uh, should be able to get in trigger a giant bomb so there's that I'm going to send my other two minions at here and here just out of range of that wizard tower and that cannon is not going to do anything, so I can get a nice clean funnel break on that side. Um, I'm going to send my golems in. So I've been I've been thinking about this a little bit. With I want to make sure that mortar is targeting my golem and not my witches. So I'm going to send it in like this, and then I'm going to send my other golem up here around the wizard tower. So that, <clears throat> and then with my wizards, I will send one right here. Oops, so let's do that a little bit better. One right there, one right here, one up here, and then I don't know, like one just to reinforce my queen, I guess, over here. So there's four. I have seven in the bag, so I'll probably sprinkle in another one, like right here. As everything starts moving and I want to save two for the cleanup um, so I'm going to then drop my jump after the, the, the trash buildings start to go down and then I'm going to drop as soon as I drop my jump spell I'm going to drop my two which is here uh, I do have two heals, a jump, and a rage. So once those all start moving in, the clan castle is going to come out, and I'm going to poison um, immediately as the clan castle starts coming out to slow them down and save face with some of my golem health. Um, I'm going to also rage. So this. this. So boom, rage there. So that should trigger at least one set. Um, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get over here, obviously. So the tricky part after all the kill squad goes in and gets the the CC 
and of the bomb trips in the queen kill is making sure that I save my uh, hogs from baking. Um, this double giant bomb is kind of tricky if you look at it. The normal way of doing things they would, if you send them here, then they're going to go with the, this, like this, and then trigger it. Um, so I want to I wanna hit this double set one at a time. Um, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to drop three on this wizard tower first. Then immediately after, I'm going to drop three on this archer tower, and then two right here. Um, reason for that is after the wizard tower and the archer tower go down, this archer tower in the middle will have a little bit of health left, so these hogs will naturally go this way and this way, and then once that's done, they'll come here. So that should trigger one at a time. Uh, once that happens, I'm going to heal right there, and then I'm going to start the other portion of the raid. So I do have, I think I have 26, I have to look, but 26 hogs, and that's only investing, you know, maybe I should do a couple more, so I'll do like four, so that's eight, ten, got yeah, ten, and then I have sixteen left, and then after that I'm just going to go, boom, three, maybe one here as well, that's four, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so what is that, six, nine, eleven, fourteen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-five, so I might even have an extra one for that backside mortar. Should go well, I think my last heal, um, once I put all these uh, troops down, I'm gonna kinda wait and see, but I'm thinking around here is gonna be my second. If I see a bomb trip here, I'm gonna obviously have to adjust that and, and move that there. Um, hopefully I have enough for that backside. The backside is kinda what's worrying me now, but I think that with my kill squad I can get deep enough into the base um, to get all that taken care of. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm gonna break, get it all set up, and then, and then uh, hit it, so wish me luck, guys. Alright, so, yeah, um, here is my comp, right, so 26 hogs, 2 golems, 2 witches, 4 minis, and a handful of whizzies. So, without further ado, let's get into this, baby. Alright, so, last little scout here, making sure that I didn't have any, uh, at O's. So, I do, I can do that, so I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna start off with my minis, and then as soon as that happens, I'll, I'll drop my golem up here, and then down there. Okay, let's do this. Okay, first, put this down, this is down. Get the other one going. Okay. Queen down. Gems. Okay, start getting this CC. Alright. How are we looking here? Not bad. Let's get one here. Two there. Okay, let's do this. Get these whizzies. 
All right, how are we looking here? I think we're looking okay. Where were the bombs? Oh, the bombs, yeah, they were where I thought. All right, so it's just cleanup now. Um, phases cleanup, get some archers involved. My wizard cleanup was not on point. <laughs> but I think, I think we're gonna be okay. Let's, yeah, we crushed this phase. Mm -hmm. Cool beans, guys. I think live attacks might be the key to ending the slump. Cool. Let's watch that again. See what we could improve on. Let's see. Nobody saw. Oh well. You guys did. Okay, let's watch it. So, we came in, we started with the minions. Speed this little part up. That worked fine. Uh, so everything is looking good now. Mini break happened as I wanted it to. Alright, so let's slip down now and see what happened with the kill squad. I like that pre-poison, I've been seeing that on some raids and uh, seems to work pretty good witches did their job, the queens sitting back there in the rage picking off the uh, the CC troops so that worked I, I don't know why I wasn't thinking about this but I, I kinda figured that mortar and that wizard tower were gonna be alive still so I did send some sacrificial hogs there um, queens to work, she's protected by my golems so that's good um, let's see how this hog, yeah, so that works perfectly, that hog pathing worked great, um, was I too early to, no, that worked pretty good, this last heal works great as well, even got a bomb in there, it wasn't a giant bomb, uh, double, double set where I thought it was gonna be, so, that's interesting, oof, those hogs almost got wiped, but, triggered both of those double sets at the same time so it is clean up at this point I, I should have dropped my wizards down at the the six o'clock range save some time but luckily it wasn't a big deal boom goes the dynamite all right i hope you guys enjoyed that until next time this is drock signing off cheers guys